Many around here have traveled underground to mine potash at K1. The first and last journey below is all we really know. Lunch pail in hand and light on our head, leading us to the maze of roads many know so well. For those of us who toil in the darkness, we leave the world behind and travel back in time, where the warm and salty air welcomes us. And the profound silence is only met with a horn burst or a hum of a passing conveyor moving the pink floor that surrounds us. Down here, we know we're a part of something that's so much more than potash. We're part of miles of roads forming a village of its own. Filled with places and faces that made it what it was. Part of history built by those before us that continued with the one sitting beside us. Part of a community grown by potash where we could live and work together for generations. So as the lights go out and the miners stop turning, we have to say so long and turn our eyes to the south, where the promise of another 50 years of potash mining rises. Built on top of the work of every pair of dusty boots and gloved hands, make an estuary and mosaic what it is today. Still, it's hard to say goodbye to a place we know so well. We can't forget the days down here or the stories we have told, the ups and downs of the markets, the challenges we endured. Still, 58 years of mining comes to a final close. So thank you to Steady and Reliable K1 for helping the world grow the food it needs. This is where it all started, at this mine that put us on the map. The first to so proudly put down roots and the first to rest. So now it's time to say goodbye to you, old and faithful friends.